Man, check it out. They're so nice. We finally won the big one, guys. That's what I was talking about. We did it. Check this out. Look, I kept my chain, too. I see that. Hey, other news, besides from us winning the big one. Do I see that the Dark Order is recruiting people from Memphis Wrestling? We should join. Yeah, let's join. I don't know, guys. That doesn't really seem to be my thing. I'm really for that. Is this about your little problem? I don't have any problems, Brad. Only solutions. Whatever you say. Hey, I know you're afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. Who said that? No, no I didn't say it. I just... I didn't say I it. I know you sleep with the nightlight. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. But, in all seriousness, we really should join the Dark Order. Why do we gotta join them? Why can't they join us? Why can't they be part of the Light Order? Okay? Yeah, I'm all about that Baduva, bro. The Light Order. Why, why does he always walk away? I hate when you do that. Gosh. And introducing next, making his way to the ring, from Hoxie, Arkansas, weighing in at 170 pounds, Brad Skimmerhorn! Brad Skimmerhorn showing off that ring. Check out Uncle Mikey. I haven't seen a smile that big in a long, long time from these guys. And you know, I think we're supposed to call them the winter horns now, because several weeks back, they won the Memphis Trios rings, and they are sporting them. Looks like they're not even wearing them on their finger, really. Mikey's just carrying his around. I'd lose it if I did that. Uncle Mikey sticks his tongue out more than our one-year-old does. This is true. <laughs> Brad Skimahorn in one-on-one -on -one competition against Carlos Alexander Rios, and the fans are chanting skim horns. I can't believe no, what I'm I, hearing. I believe that they're chanting stinker horns. It's almost oh like it's become endearing. <laughs> Looks like Uncle Mikey's Not gonna join that. us. Oh, oh we're gonna hold the rings, nice. okay. Mikey, the headset's over <laughs> here if you wanna grab one. Of course, Briar, he's here with us as oh, well. Lord. Oh, Mikey's got to have a chair and everything, it looks like. This should be fun. Uncle Mikey joining us here at the broadcast position. Mikey, what's up, man? Congratulations. Oh, man, i tell you what's got me up. You know what's up? My blood pressure. I hope Brad does good in here today. <laughs> you a little nervous for him? Yeah, look at him looking immaculate, though. He does. He looks great in there. He dropped off his Memphis Trios rings before stepping in I'll the ring here. i tell you what's up. Your hair's looking spectacularly up today. I just want to say, guys, we all look so handsome today. <laughs> yeah, I like what your hair is doing, like Maria said. It's a very Einstein-ish as we have a collar and elbow tie up in the ring here. Carlos Alexander Rios has had a little bit of uh, lady trouble here lately, being bullied a little bit by Amber Rodriguez. I'm sure the stinker horns have lots of lady troubles. Well, see, what you don't understand is I try to tell the guys this. You can either be right or you can be happy. <laughs> Okay, so not, advice, very, <laughs> not very much on the dating scene from the Winter Horns. I'm going to call you guys the Winter Ooh, Horns. I like that. That sounds good. I knew that you would. The new Memphis Trios champions here. Now, I saw Justin. Ooh. Wow, what a shot by Brad. Or should I say B-Rad. Lighting them up. All right, real quick, Uncle Mikey, i got to ask you about this whole Dark Order situation. Have you talked to Evil Uno yet? No, our paths haven't crossed yet. You know what? But kind of looking forward to that conversation. Yeah. If that happens. Well, it seems like uh, the, the Skimmer Horns here, Brad and Briar, they want in. I think they're getting a little ahead of themselves. That's usually the case with the boys, but I'm here to reel them in. I think so, too, especially after the nasty things that Evil Uno had to say about Memphis wrestling. I mean, the purple does kind of go in with him. Hey, you know, you got a good point there. He may have done that on purpose today. I think Maybe he did. So. Subliminal message here as Carlos Alexander. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. See, I tried to get Maria to do that earlier. <laughs> Woo! Oh! We're doing it to the wrong guys, y'all. Oh, there's a nice duck out of the way. Oh. B Rad Winterhorn. Oh, look at Carlos. That was a good move, Carlos. But <laughs> Playing it smart. That's my man right there, old B-Rad. Don't turn your back too long. Here comes Brad. Oh, oh! Too much on that one. Moved out of the way. Nice one-on-one -on -one contest here. Uncle Mikey has joined myself and my lovely Maria here at the broadcast position. Also, Briar Skimahorns here as well. Oh! Front suplex by Carlos Rios. How have you guys celebrated your Memphis Trios win? 
I tell you what, the first thing we did, Dustin, oh, Wait nobody home for that one. The first thing we did was go get us a big old sloppy plate of tops. Oh, yeah. Mm, what'd you have? Jumbo, oh, oh, jumbo pork. Ooh, barbecue nachos always. Oh, absolutely. I get the triple cheeseburger. Check out Brad. He is on fire, winning those trios. Oh, oh. oh. Hitting that skimmer horn combo by himself. I like wow. that. Wow. Almost picked up the victory. Two count, says Ray Ray Sanders. If it was anybody else outside of Ray Ray, I'd question that count. Fans coming up next. Scotty Too Hotty is here live at oh. the Wrestle Center. Hey, I taught him that. What a move. Your winner, now, Mikey Brad Skimmerhorn. It's here at the Wrestle Center, so stand by. Oh-ho.